The following television program features stunts performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. MTV and the producers insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt on this show. You do not. Do, no, no, do not. Don't. Adorable, isn't it? Like a moon boot roller skate. It's small, it's smug, and now it's gonna die. I don't know, I think it still needs a little something, yeah? A little overdone, but I'll eat it. I'm Johnny Pemberton. I've failed my driving test three times, I've hit six deer that I know of, and I consistently lie to my car insurance company. Yet for some reason, MTV decided to give me the keys to some of the most powerful vehicles on the planet. What could possibly go wrong? This is Mega Drive. Can you believe what's coming up next? I can. I was there. <laughs> Used to be when I heard the words trucker and speed, I thought of jack-o'-lantern mouth Wendy's employees, gas-soaked t-shirts, and amputated prostitutes. That was before I met this thing, the American Thunder. It's a jet-powered big rig that goes up to 200 miles per hour. And I'm going to attempt to drive it without killing anyone from our crew. Meet the man who built this machine, Mike Tarleton. Hi, Mike. Hi, Jenny. Nice to meet you. This is the American Thunder, huh? Correct, correct. What's the hardest part of this truck? Uh, me when I'm in it. What's that? Me when I'm in it. Oh, when you're in it. Yeah. So when you get in here, you're just straight stupid. Right, right, right. right. You got it. You want to go ahead and fire it up real quick? I just want to see how it looks like, okay? Mike, go ahead and fire it up, please. All right, all right. Seriously, all right. I want to see what this looks like. Okay, I'm ready. You're about to kill me, aren't you? Uh, I have no problem doing that. Right? You don't. You'd um, be the second man I killed back there. Amazing. You've killed two people with this. It. Yeah. How? Uh, what? What happened? You looked in that motor when I tried to start it. You're blowing smoke a mass, Mike. Yeah, a little bit. Ready, man. You're addicted to speed now. Would you kill for speed? No. You wouldn't kill like speed. a rookie cop with two kids so you can make this thing faster? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. You'd uh, just try. You gotta be kidding me. That's you. Yeah, you. Why would that be me? Oh, give me the phone. Just give me the phone. Give me the phone. Hello? This is Mike. Who's this? Hey, Matt, how you doing, man? Doing a little something here, you know, we're, we're lighting up the jets. How about you? I'm trying to get a hold of my brother. Okay, well, this is your brother, man. I, we're all brothers, aren't we? He's working on a, he's uh, deep inside that jet engine and we're about to start it up. You ever seen Jean-Claude Van Damme's Bloodsport? Toe to toe, baby. Toe to toe, you know what I'm talking about? This is your brother. Yeah. No, karate. He just got out of prison. You're gonna like to meet him. Yeah, I'll meet him. <laughs> we'll pick you up at the prison. Have six bucks, okay? Bye. Is he really in prison? Well, he just got out. That's why he called. Okay. I was, and I was just joking. He knows I'm joking about the whole Jean-Claude Van Damme we'll thing. Like. Mike says the American Thunder was built to do just one thing, speed down a long, straight track. But really, isn't that just lack of imagination? 
Mike, the Thunder is incredibly powerful, huh? Right, right. So right. you could tow whatever you want with this thing. It's so strong. I would not recommend that. You know what I mean? We've got a huge jet engine on the back of this thing. That's just going to make it better, right? I mean... I would not recommend that. Okay, okay. Uh, how about we just try it, maybe? Instead of being such a about it, you know? Hey, it's your show. Okay, how do we turn the uh, Mega Booster flame on? <laughs> Hit the master switch. Here we go. Turn that. All right. Ramping up. 10,000 RPM. Destroyed, Mike. Yeah, what happened? We destroyed the van. I told we couldn't tow that thing. I warned you. You won't listen to me. American Thunder, not a tow truck. The following television program features stunts performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. MTV and the producers insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt on this show. You do not, do, no, no, do not, don't. Previously on Mega Drive. I destroyed a van and nearly caught the jet truck on fire. So Mike sent me back to the passenger seat. But there's still so much to do. So Mike, so far as I see it now, the American Thunder is really good at going fast in a straight line. Right. Bad at turning. Right. Really good at making a jet flame. Right. Do you think we should just grill out now? Let's have a grill. Let's, Let's have a cookout. Let's grill out, man. Let's grill out. Okay. So hungry, man. What the hell? It's all torched. I see something. There might be a hot dog left. There's a hot dog for you. Not bad. Tastes like diesel. Just take a bite. Let me show you. Take a bite. I want to pass on those. Take a bite. I'm a vegetarian. You're not a vegetarian, are oh, you? Oh, yeah, I am. I'll safe to say that the American Thunder truck sucks at cooking. If you've ever been to an air show, you probably see one of these things tumble out of the sky and burst into flames and kill a couple hundred hot dog vendors. Well, I know I always say this, that I'm going to die in the show, but today, it's probably going to happen. This is going to be the last episode of Mega Drive, so enjoy it! Hey! I'm with Jason Newberg. He's a pilot. How you doing, Jason? I'm Johnny. Great. Great day. This is your machine? Yes, sir. What do you call this thing? This is a Pitts S2C. Is this like sort of a joke that you put on here for today? No, that's a sighting device. So you can tell your angle relative to the horizon. I mean, how much does this thing cost? That's probably about $400. <laughs> My grandpa could have made this in his tool shed for like 20 bucks in a pack of Marlboros. You realize that? I should give me his number. He's dead. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. What's the chances of us dying today? Very slim. You think so? I don't know. I've got I've got some odds on it, and I think it's uh it's probably gonna happen. I pretty much signed away everything I own and care about because this is gonna be it. I just step up on there. There you go. Okay. This is scary as hell. This is like a death box. Okay, let's let's, let's fly this thing. If I'm flying, if you want to have your hand on the controls and see what's going on. So just keep my hand on the stick as you move it. Yeah, that'll work. We've each got our own stick so it doesn't get weird. 
Wow, that didn't take anything to get off. Holy s***. So we're just going to lift the nose up and we're going to do what they call a, ba a basic aileron roll. Just uh, ease the back pressure and just roll it over. Oh my over. god, this is awesome. Holy s***. That was incredible. I'm running out of English here. Okay, you want to try the roll? Um, I guess so. I'll talk you through it, okay? I'm going to get your speed in. That was your 180 mile an hour. Okay, you have okay. the control. Got it. Okay, lift the nose up. Okay, lift the nose up. Okay, now just kind of push the stick ahead a little bit and roll. Oh my god, it's so simple. It just does it like nothing. Flying video games are a lot harder than when that barrel roll was. Okay, we're ready to try a loop. And over the top, we're gonna pull my f***ing a little bit. Pull the f***ing. And I'm gonna come around the back side and put a little bit more B on. We're just upside down just now. How's Johnny feeling? Johnny's doing great. We're going to do what they call a seatbelt check here, okay? So I'm going to roll upside down. Okay. And okay. just make sure that your seatbelts are nice and tight, okay? Got it. There we go. I'm pretty f***ing tight, man. That's a little bit. Oh, shoot! <laughs> How was that? Okay, Johnny? Oh, Need a little bit of air? Okay? There's a bag beside you there, Johnny. Just try and keep it on yourself. That's the first for your airplane, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wow. Good job. I'm glad it happened on TV. <laughs> this airplane is ruined. You could have, like, pulled your shirt forward or your jacket forward and self-sacrifice, you know? It was, it was totally... Uh... That was left out of the briefing. <sighs> you know who's going to have to clean this up, don't you? You? There it is, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna go take care of this for a little bit. Shane, just turn. <laughs> Come on. Can chickens fly? Chickens. Mother Nature's delicious two-legged idiots. Great for frying, not so much for flying. But today, well, we're gonna change that. This chicken. He's gonna fly like no chicken's ever flown. Let's go. Time to fly away. Let's leave the world behind. Oh my God, it's flying. It's time for us to chicken, fly away. Experience the flight, chicken. Feels oh, can you believe it? When I oh, the G. So we're gonna lay it out, there we go. Maybe let's just fly away. I really feel like I made a difference in that chicken's life. But now I think I might do something even bigger to share with the whole world. Something to make Obama proud. There's one more thing I gotta do, Jason. Just buzz the tower, you'll see, okay? Let's do it. Aerial toilet papering. Gotta get breezy, here we go. Okay. We'll climb to 1,000 feet, and then we'll go to a uh, discrete frequency on uh, 129.52. Roger, frequency change proof. It's going to be way better than a regular toilet paper job. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get lined up, and I'm going to give you the count of three, and we're going to dump it all, OK? Sounds good. One, two, hang on, hang on. Now, go, go, all the way. Oh, look at they're still falling, you see them? Yeah. Over to your right, see them falling? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's how you do it! Aerial top though! Right on target, too. Look at that! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Take that towel! I was trying to tell us what to do! That is the best TP job I'll ever do in my entire life. I think that's how you end the day. That was a beautiful thing. I'm in awe right now. I have nothing to say. Speechless. It's like the tears of but you can wipe your ass with. It's zero Bravo Fox Rock Prince getting around. Could you give us a call up in the tower? Sure thing. I can pop up and see you. I probably want to punch you in the face, huh? I'm here in rural Maine to get an up-close look at one of the biggest threats we face in America today, forests. 
The government estimates that forests are responsible for nearly 25% of teen pregnancies and most shockingly, 90% of all spontaneous drum circles. So today, I'm at the front line of this woodland war to talk to some of the men and women responsible for taking down these hideous beasts. I'm Johnny. I'm Brian. Nice, nice to meet you. So the goal of this machine is to pick up a lot of big logs and drop them in this bucket. Yeah, pretty much. What do you think the biggest log you've dropped is? Oh, uh, not very big. So you never dropped like a really big log and shown it to your friends? No. So if I was working here on this machine and I dropped like a huge, huge Boston out log, like the hold on tight log, would you guys pick it up? If it'll fit in my bucket, it'll pick it really? up. Really? That's cool. It's pretty tight it, in here. It's, it's uh, actually room for, for one. Room for one, okay. I'll just do, I'll just sit right here. Do you want me to go this way? Yeah, I'll just this do that. Or? This right. is good, left. But you could go like that. And... Yeah, I'm gonna just try a different position here, man. I'll just, yeah, that's good. Ah, oh, it sounds great. We're on. We're on now. With the left joystick, you pick up the main boom. So I pick up the main boom here, yeah. the left joystick. And then I love you it. just let up on it when you think it's high enough. So I think that's high enough there. Let me do it. Go forward or back? <laughs> I'm gonna go up by that tree over there. What kind of tree is that? Oak. The oak tree's pretty hard. Yeah, it is. They do this a lot, huh? Not really. Just come out here alone and grab that tree, maybe make make eye contact with a little cut raccoon or something like that. Look at that. Yeah, just grab that tree, huh? Oh yeah, stroke it. Raw there, rub it raw. Can I take a whack at it? Sure. Does make you feel uncomfortable? No. Give it right there. Why don't you try it by yourself if you'd like? I think, I think I'm ready to do it. I think I'm ready. Branch 100 logs in an hour and thinks it's something special. It's time to take this little bass down a peg. <laughs> ah, that's my log, bitch. Get those claw things off my log. Good luck getting this back. You got nothing. Yeah! Log harvester, get out of here. Yeah, bitch, go back to the woods. You can't touch logging at me. I'll crack your skull. They sure do love a lot of things up here in Maine. Lobster claw, lobster tail, lobster ass, and sweatshirts. The one thing they don't get enough of are Mexican piñatas. <laughs> Gather round, dames y caballeros. We had a great time here in the woods in Maine with Brian and this awesome log forwarder. I'm gonna miss you, Loggy. Loggy, no, you gotta stay here. This is your home. Me, city, you, woods. You gotta stay here in the woods. This is where you live. Loggy, no, stay. Don't make that face. I can't do anything about it. I can't change the way things are.
the supervision of professionals, MTV and the producers insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt on this show. Or lawyers will be sent to your house to eat your and or three times, I've hit six deer that I know of, and I consistently lie to my car insurance company. Yet for some reason, MTV decided to give me the keys to some of the most powerful vehicles on the planet. What could possibly go wrong? This is Mega Drive. On this pant-piercing episode of Mega Drive. Well, hey, are you tired of filling up thousands of balloons and strapping them to your lawn chair? Well, then this is for you. It's a Sportcopter 2 gyroplane, and it's 1,000% guaranteed to instill the fear of imminent death with every single flight. Plus, it's got leather seats, standard. This is Jim Vanek. He's the owner, operator, and chief flight surgeon for the Sportcopter 2. Isn't that right? That's correct. So is the Sportcopter, is it red so that larger Predator aircraft or helicopters won't try to eat it? It knows it's bitter and maybe possibly poisonous? No. Not at all? No. Are you sure about that? Positive. Well, we should probably do a taste test. Let's just let's lick it, OK? Ready? Lick it. No. Ah! Very, very bitter flavor, it's right. Ooh, it tastes like a, like a butthole of a small mammal. Yeah, yeah, so bitter. Yeah, has Puff Daddy ever approached you about it, using this for anything? Not yet. Not yet, it's not tacky enough for him, is it? No. That guy's a real piece of shit, you know what I'm saying? Puff Daddy, you. Say it to camera. Say, Puff Daddy, you're ridiculous. Uh, Puff Daddy, you're ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, Puff Daddy, guess what? Jim Vanek thinks you're Ridiculous, okay? God. He told me to say it. Let's check this out. How does this thing start up, huh? Well, we have keys. You have keys. Oh. Okay. Somebody took the keys, so we don't have any keys. What are you talking about? They're gone. The key, you don't have the... No, nope, no keys. Someone took them. Who took the sport copter keys? Anybody have those? Oh, hold on, hold on, what's that? Look! It was in his ear. Yeah, yeah, nice. There you go. <laughs> Just a little magic trick I like to do. Okay. Okay, let's start it up. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna put these on. Hello? Check, 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 talkie. Walkie, talkie, talkie. We did, we started. How do we move forward? So how do we get this thing spinning? Uh, I'm gonna do that just a sec. All right. Let's get that guillotine spinning. So, Jim, you ever chop anyone's head off with these blades? No. Well, you gotta try it at least once, right? Let's go straight at him. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's go straight at him. I'm gonna take him out. Right for him. There they are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop their heads off. Chopping heads off! Go right at him. Quick propeller! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! He gravitated! Yeah, just fell down. <laughs> okay, let's go flying. Oh, man. We're off. Oh! Oh my God! Life insurance! Let's do a left turn, so a little left stick, a little tiny bit, just like a video game. Just like a video game. Wow. Technically, I'm sitting in a little machine right now, and that's the ground. And there's just an open door here. This is scary as hell. Go ahead, Johnny. You make the landing. Okay, I'll just do that. Look out! <laughs> That's it. This would make a great golf cart. If you know golfing was in the air. 
how is this thing fair against uh, ground to air fire? Not at all. You ever thought about putting some shielding down there so you can take bullet hits? Matter of fact, uh, inside one of our customers is going to use this for the Border Patrol. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Yeah. For years now, hockey playing, snowmobile driving Canucks have been illegally crossing our border to smoke all of our maple leaves and bathe in our toilets. Now, armed with a sport copter and a paintball gun, I can finally put a stop to this surprisingly polite menace from the north. Wow, we got him. Congratulations, Jim, on a quality product. Thank you. I feel safer already. Take your manners and get back up north, okay? The following television program features stunts performed by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. MTV and the producers insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt on this show. And seriously, why would you? Did you know you'll never be able to enjoy a nice and mildly deadly game of lawn darts in your own backyard? Why? Because this guy, Terrence Scanlon, banned it. Well, Terrence Scanlon, I have a better game for you, and it's called Sport Cop and Lawn Dart Stabbing You in Your Stupid, Stupid Face. How dare the government tell me I can't play with lawn darts? There we go, we're approaching the target. Oh, I'm going for it. Terrence Scanlon, take this. Oh, a little shot there. Okay, here we go. Give me a GD bullseye. Got it. No, you didn't. It's going right for the nose. This is gonna be a skull cracker. Yeah! <laughs> we fucked up old Terrence Scanlon pretty good there. Now some petroleum different item that hasn't been banned by the Consumer Safety Council yet. Lawn machete guns! There it is, the most dangerous thing anyone's ever invented in the entire world. Machete with fence, here we go. Darts Christmas 2012. Ramadano Beach, California, about to ride inside the world's most expensive Sony Sports Walkman. It's the Ocean Pearl. Today we've got some crappy visibility, and this thing goes about two miles per hour, so it's going to be a very exciting day. Here with Scott Cassell, who is Mike Dick, his younger brother and pilot of this Ocean Pearl submarine thing, right? That's what yep. you call it? Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a real thing. It's a two-man sub. And uh, we're going to be sitting inside this acrylic sphere, which is... It's just like diving with the top down as a convertible. I, mean, I bet it's not just like diving with the top down as a convertible, because wouldn't you drown? Well, inside there, you do uh, basically have a rebreather. Right. And as you exhale carbon dioxide, it goes into the atmosphere. What does that have to do with me not dying today? Oh, man. This is a seal, right? That's a seal or is this that a gasket? That is a seal. And we've never blown one. Okay. I'll blow a seal. I love seals. Yeah. Like, how many times have you gone down this? I've got over 850 dives on this. So, you, how often do you go down, do you think? 
often as I can. Do you love going down? I love going down in my submersible. Do you ever like have problems when you go down, like where it's like uncomfortable or like that? No, no, no. I've gone down for hours. Does that make your jaw hurt? No, or no, no. It's a whole body environment. Whole you just, body environment. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever like do any like, techniques when you're down there, like when you go down, like to make it? It all depends. You know, the, the ocean. She's a really good mistress. She has a really good technique of teaching you what needs to happen if you just listen. So full body. Yeah. Listen to what she has to say. Very important, and yeah. that's where we sit. I want to go down now. I'm ready to go down with you. We're ready to close the hatch and go. Should we you call ready? some whales here over here to help us go down? Oh, I think they're going to know us. Well. <laughs> Watch your fingers. Keep them inside till you come fingers to a complete stop. Welcome to my office. You've been waiting to say that all day, haven't you? And there is, oh my god. This is cool. Is that a turd or what is that? I, I it's hope it's a piece of wood. It's probably a turd. And if you look behind it, you can see all the bubbles escaping from the variable ballast tank. It's almost as if we're underwater. Well, you can go ahead and thrust us down so we don't break surface. So I gotta record these promo things for uh, MTV. Yeah. For the website, so I'm gonna do these real quick, okay? Okay. Whoa! Jiggity JPP Remberton here, dunking deep in this water. Oh my God, we're scraping the bottom, hitting the top, making the water flip flop. Oh, somebody I just fired it. It's this guy right here. Beep, 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 hug, hug. We're deep down here with the man, man, J to the double P, Ember 10, deep on the ground with thumbs up, super butt stroke, Scotty. Scotty's taking parts and inside a little submarine here underneath the water. Yo, it's Picky Pimper 10 on the Snapjack. Scotty, the master, coming in here. We're flaccid and we're deep in this submersible heap of Then we got those, so we just have to shoot those promos. Putzing around the two mile per hour mobile aquarium is starting to get a little tedious. So I'm gonna have Captain Scott drop me off by that fishing boat over there and f with the fishermen. Wilbur's gonna help. The fishing in this area is pretty good, generally. <laughs> around with a crusty pink cheerio of an asshole, you know? They always stick in the air like it's a hood or a Rolls Royce or something, you know? Like, I want to see that. The cat just <laughs> all over me. No, it didn't, you idiot. Yeah. yeah. You know how much this submarine costs? Yeah. I'm surprised they're not in here. They probably thought it was just a litter box. You know, yes. I think he just did a duty. Oh, my God. You've been through it all now, haven't you? War, famine. On you in your own submarine. I'm here in the birthplace of rap, Moab, Utah, with a rock crawler. These things are designed to conquer the most rugged of terrain, plus, they're great for people who love the slow pace of hiking but hate the exercise and clean air. So, I'm gonna drive the out of one of these moon buggy things. Let's rock crawl their small! <laughs> Here with Jesse Haynes, How's rock crawler driver extraordinaire. So, uh, how much does this set you back? Uh, about a hundred grand. No, I mean like metaphysically, you know, like. I don't know what you're talking about. 
how much longer do you have to drive this before you get to have like a real monster truck? I'm ready to crawl rocks. Slowly put on my five point safety restraints. With every vehicle we do, it's so damn difficult to use these stupid things. Ah! All right. Let's go. Here we go. I'll show you how it's done, man. man. Whoa! Going straight here? Yeah. You ever flip this thing? No. Have you ever tried? Holy s! Since I dominated the rock crawler pretty much instantly, I figured it was time to dominate something else. Here in the Old West, men are men and a horse is your true friend. But we ate all the horses. So? We got Rocky here. There's no way in hell I'm gonna ride up there. I've got my stunt double, Ronnie Peppermint, to do that. Ronnie? Okay, hold on tight, all right? are great at crawling on rocks, but can they impress the ladies so much that you can crawl on them? Let's find out. You like this car? Yes. Hey, right, huh? As long as you go slow. Woo! Please don't kill me. Ah, <laughs> uh, got a little shaken oh. up there. Do you have something I can wipe myself off with? Oh, uh, it'll dry out once we go a little faster for sure. I made some food for you here. It's really nice it's stuff. It's in my hair. Can I get a towel? Bring me up, get a little something. That's fine. Just wipe you off a little bit. There you go. Chicken and Swiss? No, I'm, no. I'm good. Okay, I've got this. I don't know. I made this. I'm not sure what this is. This is a... Uh, sure you want a burrito? No, I'm good. I think yes. I'm over the state. Do you want to do, do it? I'm out of here. Well, I guess the uh, rock roller does pretty well in the lady category. Ow. Relatively. Well. Millions of years ago, this entire area was covered in water, and rightfully so. It's ugly. So, in an effort to bring back some real natural beauty to this arid hole, I've conjured up one of the ocean's most majestic creatures, the orca. Meet Latifa. She sure is sweet and very, very intelligent. Aren't you, girl? Let's do some tricks. In order to gain her trust, I must show no fear and assume the role of pod leader. Breathtaking. Rewarding the animal both motivates and solidifies the human and orca bonding process. Two have truly become one. And finally, in an ultimate display of power and affection, our relationship reaches its climax. Latifa! There isn't anywhere this rock crawler can't go. Rocks, deserts, even local watering holes. Time to rub elbows with the natives and see if I can't make a lasting impression.
Did you guys see who parked? The, hey, did you see who parked this car here? I didn't. Did you guys see who parked here? I think someone just left their car there. Johnny smashed me with that thing. Bowen can stop us in the 